Okay. So that one is just it's very simple, I guess. It's just uh, a meniscus tear. Uh, but it's just um, the morphology is a little different than what I'm used to see because it's like a radial tear, but at the same time, there's like a little um, flap of meniscus going from under um, and it's like flipped. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. so the what do you call it? It's not exactly a parrot peak tear, right? I'm just yeah so i mean the the easy way to go about it is just call it a complex tear because we have this yeah. different uh that's things. what i did uh, i think because then you basically so what i said typically is complex tear with a primarily horizontal and the radial component sometimes or mm -hmm. um in, in german it's kind of like the kind of like the parrot peak uh tear if that's also like if that's the most dominant feature but it's you know we have these longitudinal tears we have some radial component there's certainly also some horizontal tear components to it uh, going into the substance here uh, and then a little bit of a tiny piece here that's hanging over the edge uh, that we can also uh, the coronal where's the coronal yeah. this one yeah okay so it just you know going a little bit over the edge here uh, because yeah. it's fragmented um, and then creating a little bit of this uh, irrit irritation of the posterior medial or medial joint capsule here with this edema so yeah, I would just go with complex there. We have all these different lines and I don't, I don't yeah. really go crazy and try to put it in just one category because I think that's, yeah, we, that's just waste, we just waste too much time if we try to do this, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just but, thought it was a cute tear. Yeah, it's a nice one, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, nice image quality, I like okay. it. Yeah.